Lord, open our lips, and we shall praise your name. Lord Jesus, think on me, and purge away my sins. From earthborn passions set me free, and make me pure within. Lord Jesus, think on me, with care and woe oppressed. Let me thy loving servant be, and taste thy promised rest. Lord Jesus, think on me, amid the battle strife, in all my pain and misery, be thou my health and life. Lord Jesus, think on me, nor let me go astray through darkness and perplexity. Point thou the heavenly way. Give joy to your servant, Lord, for to you I lift up my soul. Turn your ear, O Lord, give answer, for I am poor and needy. Preserve my life, for I am faithful. Save the servant who trusts in you. You are my God, have mercy on me, Lord, for I cry to you all the day long. Give joy to your servant, O Lord, for to you I lift my soul. O Lord, you are good and forgiving, full of love to all who call. Give heed, O Lord, to my prayer, and attend to the sound of my voice. In the day of distress I will call, and surely you will reply. Among the gods there is none like you, O Lord, no work to compare with yours. All the nations shall come to adore you, and glorify your name, O Lord. For you are great and do marvellous deeds, you who alone are God. Show me, Lord, your way, so that I may walk in your truth. Guard my heart to fear your name. I will praise you, Lord my God, with all my heart, and glorify your name forever. For your love to me has been great. You have saved me from the depths of the grave. The proud have risen against me. Ruthless men seek my life. To you they pay no heed. But you, God of mercy and compassion, slow to anger, O Lord. Abounding in love and truth, turn and take pity on me. O oh, give your strength to your servant, and save your handmaid son. Show me a sign of your favour, that my foes may see to their shame that you console me and give me your help. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to his Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. Give joy to your servant, Lord. 
but to you I lift up my soul. Blessed is the man who walks in justice and speaks what is true. Hear, you who are far off, what I have done, and you who are near, acknowledge my might. The sinners in Zion are afraid, trembling as seize the godless, who among us can dwell with the devouring fire, who among us can dwell with everlasting burnings. He who walks righteously and speaks uprightly, who despises the gain of oppressions, he shakes his hands lest they hold a bribe, he stops his ears from hearing of bloodshed, and shuts his eyes from looking upon evil. He will dwell on the heights, his place of defence will be the fortresses of rocks, his bread will be given him, his water will be sure. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Blessed is the man who walks in justice, and speaks what is true. Acclaim the King, the Lord. Sing a new song to the Lord, for his work wonders. He is right and in his holy arm have brought salvation. The Lord has made known his salvation and shown his justice to the nations. He has remembered his truth and love for the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout to the Lord of the earth, ring at your joy. Sing psalms to the Lord with a harp, with a sound of music, with trumpets and the sound of the horn. Acclaim the King, the Lord. Let the sea and all within it thunder, the world and all its peoples. Let the rivers clap their hands, and the hills ring out their joy. Rejoice at the presence of the Lord, for he comes to rule the earth. He will rule the world with justice, and the peoples with fairness. Praise the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and forever. The God who is, who was, and is to come at the end of the ages. Acclaim the King, the Lord. The Lord your God has chosen you to be a people for his own possession, out of all the peoples that are on the face of the earth. It is because the Lord loves you, and is keeping the oath which he swore to your fathers, that the Lord has brought you out with a mighty hand, and redeemed you from the house of bondage, from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Know therefore that the Lord your God is God, the faithful God, who keeps covenant and steadfast love with those who love him, and keep his commandments to a thousand generations. It is he who will free me from the snare of the hunters. It is he who will free me from the snare of the hunters and from the evil one. It is he who will free me from the snare of the hunters. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. It is he who will free me from the snare of the hunters. Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to complete them. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. 
He is raised up for us, a mighty Saviour, in the house of David his servant, as he promised by the lips of holy men, those who were his prophets from of old, a Saviour who would praise from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us. So his love for our fathers is fulfilled, and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father to grant us a tree from fear, and save from the hands of our foes. We might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him to make known to his people their salvation through forgiveness of all their sins the loving kindness of the heart of our God who visits us like the dawn from on high he will give light to those in darkness those who dwell in the shadow of death and guide us into the way of peace. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to His Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets, I have come not to abolish, but to complete them. Blessed be Christ our Saviour, in him we become a new creation. The old order passes, and all things are renewed. Let us pray in living hope. Renew us, Lord, in your spirit. You promised us, Lord, a new heaven and a new earth. Renew us in your spirit, that we may come to the new Jerusalem and rejoice in you forever. Renew us, Lord, in your spirit. Let us work with you to fill the world with your spirit. Let us perfect our earthly city in justice, charity, and peace. Renew us, Lord, in your spirit. Grant that we may put aside our apathy. Help us to recognize with joy the power you have given us. Renew us, Lord, in your spirit. Set us free from all evil. Show us in the confusion of our lives the things that really matter. Renew us, Lord, in your spirit. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching we dare to say our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. School by our Lenten observance, Lord, and nourished on your word, 
May we give your wholehearted service through our self-denial, and through our prayer become one in heart and mind. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.